Hello friends, how you doing today? Welcome to my channel. This is Sherry. I hope you're having an awesome day. So, <clears throat> I'm here for a Tag Tuesday. <laughs> this is an open collab hosted by me, and if you want to join in, anyone can join in anytime and post a video or Instagram post and just use the hashtag Tag Tuesday. And uh, that way I'll be able to find you, let me know, and I'll link you in my, <clears throat> uh, you know, under my videos and um, my Tag Tuesday videos. And if you, um, if you link my video under your video, <laughs> and then people can come over and see who all is participating and check out all the awesome tags people make. So, <clears throat> today I am, yeah, you can post any Tuesday, by the way, um, you can do it one time or every time or any time you want. You know, no, no, uh, really rules. Just to, the only rule is to uh, <clears throat> try to link my video and uh, post on Tuesday. So today, um, I kind of had this in my head for a little while, where I wanted to use some of my flashcards and I wanted to really um, <clears throat> do something with them because a lot of times I'll just stick one in a journal, right? And uh, I don't know if people, I mean, I think a lot of people know what to do with them, but if they don't, I thought I would do something with them <laughs> more than just stick them in a journal. I really like to uh, do something with them that where you can see, yes, it is a flashcard, but now it's going to be made into a tag, right? So <clears throat> what I did was put some blank paper on the back of all these. I went to my scrap box and pulled out papers that like this one matched. This is my... Um, what do you call it? It's um, colored paper. <laughs> the Astro Brights that I coffee dyed. That's what it is. Um, so it matched this kind of, you know, light kind of orangey or apricot color. I did that. So I had a few, quite a few of those. I, I glued the paper on and then sewed around, as you can see, a zigzag stitch there. So there's a bunch of the orange ones that I think they all have that orange Astro Brights paper on the back. Um, this oh this one has oh this one was plain this was in with the flashcards and I guess make your own type of thing they, they're all, I got them from a thrift store this one I put coffee dye graph paper on <clears throat> so these this has coffee dye graph paper this is just coffee dye like composition book paper and this is Astro Bites purple coffee dyed and this is ledger paper I thought really I like all of them but that looks really cool doesn't it <laughs> I like that. So, <clears throat> yeah. And I like it where when you use something like this, like a flash card or a playing card, uh, you can see what it was. I don't like to cover up completely both sides. And like, I don't know. I, like I, I say this once in a while, I'm a very practical person. And um, if I was going to cover up both sides, I'd just use cardstock, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> I want to see what it was. You know, I don't know. That's just maybe this me. Oh, here's one where I did a straight stitch. Yeah, so you can straight stitch, you can zigzag stitch. And so these will be put eventually in my journals for, um, for you know, ephemera. But these are some other, when I was pulling, I was going for these, and I pulled these out at the same time, I was like, oh, look what I have here. You know, it's like you forget what you have in your stash, right? So these are word flashcards, like vocabulary or whatever, just words. So um, I did the same thing here different words and they covered these up I just pulled from my again my scrap box this was some uh, you can see through it but still you could write on it and you know <clears throat> it's usable now this one is the purple coffee dyed uh, Astro Bites and uh, this is um, kind of I think it's called erasable typing paper this one here it's a nice paper so once I got all that done now I'm ready to make these into tags so I want to decorate and I want to add a little topper to make it into a tag, right? So let's, uh, what did I pull out? Pull out to decorate. I have a bunch of my Tim Holtz that I have organized in these little zipper pouches. These are the botanical. These are the paper dolls. These are like little labels and snippets and things. It's called, I kept the, um, <clears throat> I took them out of their original little bag that they come in and kept the little top piece that tells you what it is. So right here, like I have botanical. This one, um, I know this is paper dolls, but I have the thing in there too. <clears throat> and this one says keepsakes. These are keepsakes. The keepsakes little package of ephemera Tim Holtz has. So um, why don't we, first of all, experiment a little bit with 
the toppers. So we won't get all these done, I'm sure. But all I'm going to do is um, punch a hole with my regular little um, hole punch here in the middle. So let's start off by doing one, or let's do <laughs> let's do two of these, because that's one's that one's straight stitched and this one is zigzag. So I'm punching a hole below the stitching, and I want to punch through my stitching. And these two, like you could leave these as is and make them like say they're journaling cards. But to make them into tags, I feel like you have to have a little topper on it, punch a hole, and, you know, something, put something on the top. And you could put something solid on the top, like, you don't have to punch a hole and put a little string in to make it into a tag. You could put, I have this little bowl of flowers that I cut up from a shirt that I found at the thrift store. It had all these little flowers, you know, it was made up of these little flowers. So I cut them all out, but to make this into a tag, I would just... Put one of these on the top and there you go you have a little topper and then we'll put a little decoration down here but maybe we'll do that on one of them so anyway let's go ahead and punch a hole i decided to um i was looking at these before the video before i turned on the camera i was like which, which way do i want to put them you know for a tag and i decided to start with the first of the word down you know instead of making the word upside down i decided to go like this <clears throat> so that's what i'm doing punch a little hole in a couple of these. Let's do, since we're doing the same thing over there with these flashcards, I'm going to do one straight stitch and one zigzag. Punch my hole under the stitching. So let's put these to the side. I don't know if we'll get to any of those. <clears throat> and then I pulled out some top toppers. So, oh, let's do one more. <laughs> since I said that about the flower, let's put a flower on, um, one of these, let's do three flashcards. So we'll go ahead and put a flower on one of these as the topper. All right, so you can use anything for a topper, anything you want, but um, you know, a little tab or whatever. So let's get some, this is this fabric. Let me use my fabric tack. Go ahead and get this glued down, get this one started. So yeah, this is just a fun little um, easy going, simple collab. And, um, you know, I love to make tags, so it's like my favorite ephemera, really. And um, so that's why I started this collab. And I just wanted it to be easy for people to, you know, you don't have to post at any certain time, you know, uh, any certain prompts or anything. Just easy peasy, post a tag video, and there you go, you're in the collab. <laughs> so, isn't that cute? Okay, so there's one topper. Now, um, the rest of these I pulled out for these. I pulled this gingham one out and this light blue lace out for these two. Um, I said, I didn't know which one I was going to use, but let's use one of each. How about that? So we'll cut a piece of this and a piece of the lace. I went long enough to, I think I just want to, you know, a stringy type, a stringy type um, topper. I'm going to cut it long enough to have be able to make a string but not too long not too short I'm not going to tie a bow sometimes I'll tie a bow in the top and you need a little bit more to tie a bow but I don't think I'm going to tie a bow right now in these two got a pin here <clears throat> holding this together okay so this is just a pretty light blue lace like a, you know seam binding or whatever you call this all right hopefully I'm making those long enough because I'm just kind of winging it here <laughs> just guessing Okay, put that little pin back there, keep that together. So let's put these in here, see how they look. <clears throat> yeah, I just pulled out my, um, I have all these kind of things organized in one little container. And I looked for, you know, like I have some that aren't opened, you know, with the plastic still around. They're all from vintage, I mean from thrift stores, so they're all, you know, they're, they're not new, but they're knew that they've never been opened. They still have the plastic on them, but I just pulled out these two, or the ones I pulled out because they were opened. So I figured why not use the open ones? Why open a new one? <laughs> this will use up these opened ones. Okay, so this one I did make a little short, but we're gonna work with it. <clears throat> Let's see, let me get it pulled through. How does it go? Like. I need to pull this way. Yeah, I need to pull this way. 
it's just a little hard to pull through that hole with this thick fat not thick but you know what I mean it's thicker than the lace okay so yeah I want to do this with some playing cards too so I might do playing cards next week I just had had flash cards because I have so many of the, both of those really and I need to either do something with them or you know share some in my Etsy or something so <clears throat> There we go. That looks cute, doesn't it? With the plat with the little check there. I think that looks adorable. I'll spread that out a little bit if I can. Okay, yeah, that looks adorable. They all both look adorable. Here's the flower one. So the other two I pulled out for these colors were this one, which is a brown lacy one. So let me cut a piece of that. Oops. And then <clears throat> this flowery kind of seam binding, really cute, right? Okay, let me cut a bigger piece since that was, it was cute, but I just, well, this is a smaller thing too, but, so I don't need too much more, but just enough to get through there and make a, make a topper. Okay, that should be good. So I had, let's see, I got that together. This one seems to fall off, so <clears throat> this lace. So, I put, like a lot of them come with these little pins in there to keep them together. The ones that have been used from the thrift store. So, I keep it in there to keep it together, right? <laughs> so, it doesn't go all over the place. Okay, so let's put this one in. So fun and easy, right? I sewed all these last night. I was just so anxious to um, get started on using some of these. I've been had this in my head for such a long time and I've been doing other things and I was like finally I had some you know like free time last night and I I went for it <laughs> so oh that is so adorable so pretty right you can angle the I do like to try to if it if I think it needs it I'll angle the little top you know top like that that's I was already angled so I think that looks nice and then this one, the little, let's see, it, the fold is right here, so I'm going to put that in the middle. See how this one looks. And then we'll just do some simple decorating here. Like I said, I don't like to cover it up. Just a simple little decoration goes a long way sometimes, right? You don't have to get all fancy. I know some that I've put too much on, I'm like, oh gosh, I really like the simpler ones better, really. I don't know, it's just me. Maybe, but I really kind of do. Try to get all fancy and then I don't like it, right? <laughs> okay. Wow, that looks awesome. Isn't that adorable? Very cute, right? All right. So let's do some decorating now. See if we can get all five of these done during this video. So first of all, I was thinking I would like to decorate with some of these flowers. That's why I got them out. I did put, use one on as a topper here, so... Maybe I'll put one here. Let's see, yeah, it would look better on a colored one. So let's put one of these here and do this one. Oops, whoops. With um with a flower. And then we'll use some of the Tim Holtz pieces. So I have some buttons here too. I didn't show you that. My little little jar of buttons, which I will show you in a second. Maybe you can see them over there. my sweatshirt on today it was 70 got up to 70 yesterday we did have some storms I heard and then after we had our storm I was like oh when I turned on the camera I saw all, I mean the TV and saw some news where there was some very serious storms all over the place in fact I thought when I, I thundered here it was thundering I was like what is that because I wasn't sure because I've never heard a tornado before thank goodness and um I wasn't sure it was thunder, you know, and my husband was here, and I was like, what was that? And he's like, thunder. I'm like, oh, okay, because, you know, I was wondering what it was. I wasn't sure it was thunder. I was hoping it was thunder and not anything else. But then I saw there were some ser very serious storms in other places, so I hope everybody is okay. But, um, yeah, that was a little scary because it was so windy, like really super windy at one moment or at a little, you know, for a little while here, like, 
really, 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 really super windy, <laughs> you know, and it's unusual. I think it's unusual for December for it to be like that, so. Uh, okay, let me dump some of these out because I want a kind of a color that will stand out on here and one that's not too big. This is a little jar of buttons I got from Dollar Tree. Oh, here's a little brown one. That would look cute. Let me see if I can grab it without it disappearing into the abyss of buttons here. <laughs> Oh, that one's stuck on me with the glue. Okay, so that would look cute right there. Sometimes I put thread in these, so if you want to put a little thread in them, you can. Or sometimes I don't. So this time, uh, today, I'm not going to. I'm just going to glue this down. So I'll put a little dollop of glue here, right in the middle of this flower. So this won't, I don't feel like this would be too bulky to put into a pocket. This is a pretty small button button, and it, um, it's not really too bulky. So it could fit into a pocket or it could be a side tuck even with the topper on. I think that's cute. You can sometimes turn them sideways and make them into a pocket too. So I'm going to call this one done. Like I said, I want it to be simple but cute. So there you go, you have writing room on the back, it's sewn around, you got your topper and a little decoration. Boom, it's done. <laughs> so let's do some more. Let's see what we want to do with these. So we do have the flowers. I didn't pull, I want to didn't want to pull out too much. Let's see um, if we can get like a couple of pieces, like maybe on here with a like a label or something, and a flower or a paper doll. So let me look at my these are the the keepsake pieces. Let's see. I'm going to get this open now. Oh, still closed. <laughs> I got these little pouches at a thrift store. They're like 10 cents each or 25 cents each. And I was like, oh, I can totally use those as organization in my craft room. So here's kind of kind of a neutral colored thing. That could be a background. It's kind of big though. I didn't want to cover up that much, did I? No, I didn't. Well, here's a small one that would be cute and it's got blue on it oh that would be cute there I like that perfect so he doesn't cover up anything not that you can't i just you know this is cute oh that is cute with the red and blue let's start with those and see where we go from there there's a little tiny tiny thing these always escape from my tim hold <laughs> tip when i find them after i put it away i was like oh shoot how did that get out of there <clears throat> okay, so now a flower or um, a paper doll. Uh, let me see. Let me see. All right, so we need... Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what we have here. Let's see this thing here. This would be cute. Um... See, if you put something like this on here, you still see what it was. It's a flashcard. It's not totally, you still, still can even read the word, really. Who? And what you have it decorated. Of course, I could cut that stem off and put it down here. I think it's a little, I could cut this up. Let's see. What if I cut this piece off? Let me try that. Yeah, I kind of learned not to be afraid to cut my Tim Holtz up. Like, I can totally use this on another one, even right here. <coughs> and this, I could use here if I want to. Maybe this on the top and this on the bottom. Uh, still... Still a little bit too big, I think, though. I like this one, though. I like this one. I think I would put this first and then this over the bottom, maybe. Have it coming out of the label, like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. I think that's cute. I'll put it over here, too. Let's see which side. No, I think I like it over here. Yeah, let's do that one there. Okay. I still like this here, but I need a different something. Let's, I'm not giving up on these, but since we did a flower there, let's look at my paper dolls. 
Let's see what we have to go with the airmail. Little snippet there. So we've got need something either something tall to go on one side or something small. So let's see. Not too wide because I don't want it to cover up the the who. This could be cute. Let's see. I kind of would like him to be leaning on something and I don't want to cover up the so I don't want that exactly. Oh, this guy would be cute. Let me see him. He's not covered up too much. You could have one leg under on the little postage thing there. Airmail. It's like airmail postage. And he could be over here. So that could be cute. Now let's see what else. This is a little tiny one. Let me see what she looks like. That's cute. She could be standing on the postage. <laughs> that would be cute. I kind of wanted to overlap a little bit though. So that could be cute or I think I like him. Is he, did I put him standing on it? Or overlap? I put him overlapping a little bit like that. Okay. Yeah, that I like this one. I like this guy. This little boy. So um yeah, he's a little bit too big so let's go with him not waste time looking through the stuff when I've already picked out something but this flower I'm not totally sure of because now that I see that that looks good maybe I need something taller over here <clears throat> if we don't get these all done I'll be all right but maybe maybe we'll go faster in a minute but let me see if I can find a flower that would go up taller here I think that would be cute so let me <clears throat> get some of these out of here real quick I see that one's too wide oh here's a tall taller one Let's try this one, tall skinny one. Or something like that. Or like that. I definitely like it down here. Let's see, it's kind of, is it straight or is it leaning? I think I like it over here because I think it's leaning a little bit so we'll go ahead and let it lean over like that okay we're good we're good we're gonna go with that so maybe we'll have time for the others <clears throat> the other two here okay let's get this down with some let's use Fabri-Tac you know Tim Holtz is a little glossy on the back of the paper dolls these are not really that glossy but just to make sure everything sticks we will use um, some fabric tack here. Let me get a little get rid of a globby of glue. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Got a globby of glue here to get rid of my trash can. Okay. So this one is going over here. All right. I want to rush a little bit so that I can get through. Try to get those two done. All right. So that's going right there. Let me grab a tissue behind me and wipe, I can wipe off this extra glue without getting it all over my fingers. <laughs> Just a second. Okay, see there's a little bit oozing out here. Okay, I'll keep this handy in case I need it again. All right, and then put some glue on this little boy. Get his legs. Okay, that should be plenty. I think that is super cute. And again, it's nice and flat. You could see what it was. It was a flashcard, a word flashcard. You could see the word, I believe, enough to see that it was the word who. And then that could be a prompt, actually. I did pick out these which side to put the paper on to um you know as to what i thought would be the best maybe like a prompt word in your journal sometimes that's um, good to do with the word flashcards and things with words on them okay that is cute and that one we're going to say is done where's my other done one oh right here okay make a done pile right here okay let's glue this one down these colors really go to get together 
together well too this little label and that flower now that I look at it again so let's get this down make sure the edges are down okay I just don't want the glues glue ease, oozing out because that's just a waste of glue right okay all right now this pretty flower <clears throat> And these are a little kind of slick on the back too. I guess slick is a better word than glossy. They're slick on the back. <clears throat> Alrighty. Barely a little bit on the edges there. If you're putting it in and out of something, I don't want it to come off, right? Like I don't want it to get stuck on anything like the side of a pocket or something. So I was gonna lean it in a little bit, I think. Like that. Yeah. All right, I like it a lot. You see, maybe you didn't notice, but I haven't done any distressing. <laughs> sometimes I just don't feel the need. And sometimes I feel the need, so <laughs> just go with it. On, go with the flow on that. All right, I think that's cute. Let's put it in our done pile. We just have a few minutes left to see if we can do these. We got a flower here, so um, I wonder if I can put another flower on this one though. I kind of wanted to put a flower on the bottom of one, and we haven't. Oh, we did on that one. Oh, never mind. I don't have to have another flower. Okay, or I could, but I don't have to. I wonder if I could do a flower, a flower with a Tim Holtz person. Let me see how that would look real quick. Um, let me see a bunch of little people falling out here. Let me see. They must be one. They must be wanting to be on my flashcard. Oh, that's cute. Look, I just pulled that right out of there. You can still see there was a flashcard, and he's sitting on the flower. <laughs> that's adorable. I think. Okay, so what else? We need something for this one. We got a flower on the top. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna put a button on the top too. You're probably wondering why don't you put a button on the top, Sherry? Yeah, let's do that. It's a good idea. <laughs> What a good idea you guys had. All right, so we're going. This is brown, but it doesn't have to be anything to do with brown. But with this one, well, I kind of like it to be show up more than that one. Let's see, we've got a red one here. Or a pinky one. Or a gray one. Kind of boring, though. Yellow. Okay, let's just put the yellow one. I have a little black one here. Oh, that would look good with the black letters. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. I was avoiding black because it's just black, but it looks good. Okay, so now <clears throat> this one's going to be done after we glue these pieces done. We need something down here. Let's go with, so we used flour. We used Tim Holtz. Let's see if there's a little label we can put on this one real quick. One of these would look cute. It's small and little. And then we need a little something here. So we got a label. Oh, where's that little yellow flower I cut out? Here it is. Would that look cute here? Let's see. Put this over here and this over here. Kind of. See, like it's covering it up, but it's not covering up the whole thing. Uh, let me make sure about this. Let me just look at the flowers for another second here. See if there's anything else in here. There's a bird here, but it's giant, so I can't use that. <laughs> of course, there's a bird, but it's still too big. <laughs> uh, let's see. Anything else? I don't want to look too much because I don't. I'll, I'll run out of time here, but I think we're just going to go with that. I don't see any little tiny flowers here. Okay, let's just go with this. Okay, let's glue this down. And then we'll be able to look at all, all of what we did. I've got like two, two or so minutes here. So let's do it quick. Do it quick, Sherry. <laughs> okay, so see, I'm, I am overlapping the stitching a little bit. I'm not afraid to go over the stitching. And then we're going to put this guy right here. This foot's going to be hanging off the bottom a little bit, but that's okay. All right, so we'll put glue on the top of his bottom foot there. 
but we'll get this glued down real quick. The glue doesn't have to go to the bottom because the tip of his foot is hanging off the bottom because he's sitting on this flower like this. Super cute. All right. Now this one, to see flower first because I'm overlapping the label a little bit over and that label can be written on, so that's cool. Let me get some other very tip here. And this tip, these two tips, okay. Now let's see, let's line this up a little bit. So about like that. Okay, and then some glue on here. And we'll look at what we did real quick. And be sure as I say goodbye here, as we finish up, um, to check out the other participants. Everybody has just amazing ideas for tags, so I'm always amazed. <laughs> Great ideas. Okay, so that's cute. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so here's what we did. Ah, as I rush to get through, everything crashes. <laughs> okay. Here's what we did. Five, guys. Wow, that's a lot for me. So I usually just... You know, I don't, I don't take my time, but I just, you know, it takes me time to figure out things. So I think those are all really cute. And like I said, I don't like to cover things up. I like to see what they were. And then I like to have my journaling room, room on the back. So all super cute little toppers. Super cute little simple decorations. And now they can go into journals. And they're ready to go. And they're, you know, usable. They're ready, they're ready to use. They're not just stuck into a journal which I have done myself, so I'm not saying anything against that. And I will do again. But I'm just saying, when you get one, when you get a journal, I guess, with a flashcard in it, and you don't know what to do with it, this is what you can do with it. There you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and um, have a great day. And uh, I will see you all next time in my next video. Happy crafting.